As part of a new research program on wildfires, the Applied Remote Sensing Lab has been exploring the use of miniaturized sensors for measuring the concentrations of various atmospheric gases from a drone. Wildfires play a major role in contributing to greenhouse gas emissions, primarily through the release of carbon dioxide and other pollutants into the atmosphere. When vegetation combusts, it releases stored carbon back into the air in the form of carbon dioxide and other gases such as methane. We integrated carbon dioxide, temperature, humidity, and particulate matter sensors from Sparvio and Intermet along with a Trisonica anemometer for wind speed and direction on our DJI M300. Given the specific requirements of the various sensors in terms of their need to be in or away from the airflow generated by the propellers, determining their proper placement was the first challenge. We also included the H20T thermal camera to provide visual context during the flights. Our first opportunity to test the sensor integration and collect data from an actual fire was during fieldwork in Dryden, Ontario with the National Research Council of Canada's Flight Research Lab and the Ontario Ministry of Natural Resources and Forestry's Aviation Forest Fire and Emergency Services. First, we collected drone-based LIDAR with the L1 to determine the volume of slash piles before and after they were burned. We then tested the mini sensor assembly by flying both over the large smoldering burn pit and next to a controlled fire of one of the smaller slash piles. At the same time, the team from NRC was recording the temperature of the controlled fire from the ground with a thermal camera. An initial look at our data shows the collection was successful with expected patterns of increased carbon dioxide and particulates near the plume and over the smoldering pit. As we continue to improve the sensor integration to increase stability and the maneuverability of the drone in flight, data from this research will be used to map concentrations of gases and air quality near wildfires. The intensity and frequency of wildfires have increased in recent years. These fires not only endanger people's homes and livelihoods, they also release large amounts of carbon. The contribution of wildfires to greenhouse gas emissions underscores the complex interplay between climate change, natural disasters, and the global carbon cycle, emphasizing the importance of the use of technology for improved fire intelligence for early detection and characterization of these major events on the landscape. Stay tuned for more videos of the M300 with these sensors used in other types of research questions to quantify greenhouse gases.